got a great day out here and we've got this opportunity to deploy the systems that we were able to uh, acquire through the kindness of the Dominion Foundation. We have two systems here that are going to be dedicated to undergraduate education and research and we're going to be putting them on a, a smaller a mini buoy which is a mini version of what we've got out in the long-term observing systems in the Long Island Sound Coastal Observing System. So the exciting thing is that we're in the data age and we want all the UConn students to be very comfortable with dealing with large amounts of data. The ones that we've got deployed today are going to be dissolved oxygen, temperature and salinity. It works just like a cell phone and all the measurements that are taken on the system are going to be telemetered back in real time to the university. So students can download it, they can filter, they can learn how to become comfortable with working with big data sets. These are the basic measurements um, that students should be familiar with if they're going to go out and pursue a career in science or pursue uh, management careers really because these tools are what we use um, in coastal observing systems around the world. Last week we just went across the Thames River mouth and looked at the, the <laughs> flow through the mouth and as well as the water properties. That was great for a class project and I actually asked a uh, question on the exam about it, but it also fits into my research on the roles of rivers and, um, and how they affect the Long Island Sound. I'm Kristen Robb, mm -hmm. I'm a master's student. I currently study chemical oceanography. In the summer I'll hopefully be doing um, some passive sampling in the Housatonic, so we'll deploy mm -hmm. sensors and see if what sorts of different contaminants are available. So the temperature will be very important. So mm -hmm. this buoy, when we measure temperature, I can compare that to the city that it will be running in a week mm -hmm. and hopefully be able to make some predictions. My name is Christian Fox and I'm a UConn graduate. Mm -hmm. Graduate of Avery Point, spent four years there in marine sciences. Um, so now I have a job here working for the Marine Science and Technology Center at University of Connecticut Avery Point. So what we're doing today is we're gonna deploy this mooring. I like that I get to be on the ocean all the time. I like the variety of things I get to do. I like the fact that on one given day I could be going diving on some instruments, or I could be working on the boat, or I could be prepping science tools, or prepping buoys to go out. When I was looking for undergrad work, um, someone told me about University of Connecticut, and I went down, and I checked, and I heard they had a good marine science program, so I checked the main campus, and it was pretty cool, but it was big, and I was looking for something a little smaller, and they said, well, you should go down and check out Avery Point, because that's actually where marine science is. So I drove down there the next day, and absolutely fell in love with the campus, fell in love with the faculty, and the students, and the location. Um, if I hadn't gone to school at Avery Point, I wouldn't have been prepared for this job. I wouldn't have been prepared for looking into marine science grad schools. I wouldn't have had a much more clear idea of what I wanted to do.